Shalom everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another virtual service. Did you know that Jesus has done a lot of miracles? Well, today we're gonna learn about one miracle that he's done. So let's get on to the video. The Miracles of Jesus. Jesus loved to teach God's message and people loved to listen to him. They followed him everywhere. But one day, Jesus was sad because his cousin John had died. Jesus got on a boat to rest and pray. When he came back to shore, the people were still waiting for him. Jesus welcomed them and he started to touch, to teach and heal the sick people. First question, why was Jesus sad? Was it because his cousin John died? His disciples left him? Or people were not listening to God's message? That's right, it was because his cousin John had died. All day, Jesus spoke to the crowd. When evening came, the disciples said to Jesus, It's late, and these people are far from home. Send them away so they can buy some food. You can give them some food, replied Jesus. That would cost too much, the disciples grumbled. Go and find out how much food we have, Jesus told his disciples. The disciples went off among the crowd, and then they came back with the boy who had five loaves and two fish. Five loaves and two fish is only enough to fill one dish. This won't be enough to feed the crowd, they said. There must be 5,000 people. Next question. How many people were in the crowd? Was it 50 people, 5,000 people, or 500 people? Great job. It was 5,000 people. Jesus told his disciples to sit everyone down in groups. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish and thanked God for the food. Then he divided the food into baskets for each of the disciples. The disciples shared the food among the people. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. After everyone had eaten, the disciples collected the baskets. When they came back, the 12 baskets were full of food. They couldn't believe their eyes. Next question, what did the disciples do after everyone had eaten? Did they go home? Did they go to sleep? Or did they collect the leftovers in baskets? You guessed it, they collected the leftovers in baskets. Later, Jesus and his disciples went down to the lake. They were going to a town on the other side. The disciples climbed into the boat, and Jesus stayed behind. You go on ahead, he told the disciples. I have something I need to do first. At last, the crowd went home. Jesus sat alone on the mountain to pray. Later that night, Jesus looked out over the lake. The boat was now far from the shore, tossing this way and that, and the disciples were struggling to row the boat, fighting against the wind and the waves. It was still dark when the disciples saw a white figure coming towards them. They were terrified. It's a ghost, they cried, but it was Jesus walking on water. Jesus called to the disciples, Be brave, it's only me. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But he was scared and he began to sink. Save me, he cried. Last question, who walked on the water? Was it Peter, John, or James? That's right, it was Peter. Jesus held out his hand and caught Peter. Did you doubt that God would save you? Jesus asked. 
As they climbed back into the boat, the wind died down, and the disciples were amazed. You really are the Son of God, they said to Jesus. Thank you for following along to the book and answering the questions. Now let's get on to the craft. All right, so for today's activity, we're gonna need some white sheet of paper, construction paper, markers, um, tape, and some scissors. So for the white paper, we're gonna go ahead and outline five loaves, five breads, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut those out. I've already pre cut, so you should come up with this. And then if you have brown, then that's amazing. If not, we can go ahead and color it in or outline and trace them. Now that you have your five loaves set aside for your colored um, construction paper, go ahead and outline a fish that looks like this and go ahead and cut those out. You're gonna need two of them and leave the scraps for the fins later on. Now that you already have um, your cut out fish, we're gonna go ahead and fold them just like the red one. Now that you have your fish, we can go ahead and decorate the way you would like. You can make the fins um, out of the scratch paper like I told you. You can cut out two triangles. We can tape them on later. If you would like to um, draw the scales, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do um, the eyes already. And then we're going to go ahead and take some tape and go ahead and tape the fin on the fish. You can go ahead and refold it. So goes back to its proper shape and now your child has the two fish and five loaves which can remind them of the story that we just read and watched thank you all for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the activity and i'll see you all next time god bless you